Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Clau and this is Cozy Pixels and today we are making over the Smith Households family home in Strange Town. You can see I already made some changes and um, not much that you missed guys. I was basically just uh, extending the porch to go through the whole front of the house and changed the three sticking out part into two sticking out part because it helps a lot with the first floor floor plan so you didn't miss a lot don't worry i have to say i am a bit uh, bothered by how no house match style in strange town like i don't know if you guys noticed but like there are no two houses that have the same architecture style i guess except for the two houses that are exactly the same and one of them belongs to the grand family but other than that all of them are super different like we have this beautiful suburban house here for the smith family in the middle of the desert and then we have the beaker house which is basically a medieval castle in the middle of the desert and then we have the curious family house which is a modern masterpiece and like it's just not really consistent but i guess it kind of suits with the whole vibe of strange town because no one no family is similar here because they are all super different and they all have their own story so i guess that that fits the theme but it like really kind of rubs me in an annoying way you know but like not super annoying but just like mildly infuriating if i may say it. like you know when something it just doesn't it is not symmetrical in your beard or something like that I don't know maybe that only bothers me but you know when for example you can't put the windows to be symmetrical on the outside of the house i just add more walls or more room or stuff like that to for it to look good but anyway you can see how i changed the floor plan on the first floor i think it kind of looks good and like it makes sense because the original floor plan of this house didn't really make a lot of sense I was trying to keep more or less, you know, the vibe that we have the master bedroom on the first floor, bathroom, kitchen in the back of the house, study area and stuff like that. I think I kind of did good. It makes more sense to me. I'm not sure if this was a real house and I would walk in there, it would make sense, but I kind of think it would. But as I said multiple times, I'm not really an architect or interior designer, so I have no idea if there are, you know, some rules that I'm breaking while making these houses. Usually that's why I don't really build out of memory and try to follow floor plans of real houses. I don't know if you guys remember that I said that already, but a lot of times when I build houses for myself or just, you know, to my own gameplay families i usually use floorplans.com and just <laughs> snatch the floor plans from there but i think that's good like i don't uh, put the pressure on myself to come up with original house ideas like i am not an architect man <laughs> i didn't study for that and I just like building so yeah not too much pressure don't put too much pressure on yourself this is just a game and you should have fun so i also have to say i think the main color scheme of this house will be green of course because jenny loves green and purple because purple goes well with green in my opinion and this uh, teal bluish greenish color um, because that goes well with purple and pink so basically this is how the house will look like and I'm trying to justify my use of purple and green color scheme again you see this is what happens when I try so bad not to build with yellow and blue that I just end up using purple and green everywhere I just can't help myself I got fixated on one thing and just go with it until you know I find it kind of scary i need an intervention and then i move on to the next thing and just keep overusing that so there's that but i like it i think it looks very cute and and uh it radiates a, a cute vibe i think which suits this family because i can see them being you know absolute sweethearts like jenny and pt love their kids very very much and they are i would say they are really like the picture perfect american family but you know the father is an alien so they're not regular 
or like everyday families they are very special but in, at the same time they are really just like you know how you imagine a picture perfect family like they live in a nice suburban house they have a little backyard where they barbecue every weekend i don't know it just it really makes me feel warm inside when i think about that i would love to live in a house like this like having a little pool porch you know guys i am very obsessed with porches i don't know why but ah just imagining myself sitting out there in the morning sipping my coffee actually we have a balcony attached to our apartments and i never go out there so maybe it's just like you know my fantasy and i would actually never use the porch but hey a girl can dream uh i actually really like this kitchen i think i managed to decorate it really nicely i and that means i just put clutter everywhere but hey I really like it and my own real life kitchen is super cluttered as well we don't have a huge kitchen so you know you have to use every space that you get <laughs> and you can see that i will use a lot of dream home decorator items in this build and that's because i am super obsessed with this ikea type scandinavian living type of um, furniture and also while I wasn't uploading in the past weeks, I was um, starting to learn how to create uh, custom content and how to create uh, conversions from The Sims 4 into The Sims 2. And I converted a few Dream Home Decorator items, which I am really proud of. And that's why I, I tend to overuse these now, because they are new and I am very proud of them. Uh, just like... Uh, here I will put the TV stand and the bookshelf, those are made by me, so I am very proud of myself. Um, yeah, but what did I wanted to say? So I really like this living room area, I think it's very cozy. And I forgot what I wanted to say, why do I speak so much? Oh yeah, I think I wanted to say that I was really enjoying learning how to create conversions and learning a little bit more about CMP and how these things work because I once used to study um, web design and like HTML and CSS coding and stuff like that and I always enjoyed kind of debugging why something is not working and making CC is very similar to that I would say because you know you just do the steps that you have to do in order to make CC and if, if for some reason they don't work then you just have to go inside and you know just google solutions and try different things and I just really enjoy that because at the end when it does work it's like really rewarding and I really like the feeling so yeah it was really fun I was having so much fun making these objects um yeah, sorry. Actually, this is my second time recording this voiceover because I recorded this already. But in OBS I have different scenes and one of the scenes is only the camera. Which doesn't have any sound. And the other one is where I record the actual video which has sound and I was on the wrong scene. So the first recording of the voiceover doesn't have voice, only image. And I can tell you guys how much how many times did this happen to me? It's like, <laughs> why am I never learning? And the fun thing is that this time I was actually checking that I have sound on the video and then I changed something uh, regarding the look of the camera and forgot to put back the scene. So I was like, oh my god, how is this possible? <laughs> but hey, mistakes are made. We are all human. So... Yeah, I'm recording this for the second time already and I was talking so much in the previous one but I kind of forgot what I was saying. So yeah, I'm actually proud of this little bathroom and the other one as well because you know I always say how my bath bathrooms look the same and this time it's, it's not much but it's a little bit different so I was proud of myself. Uh, actually Regarding this fireplace, I was a little bit conflicted because the original build had a fireplace here as well in the study area or like sitting room or whatever this is basically. And I wasn't really sure how useful a fireplace is in the middle of the desert. 
And I guess it's not really here because of the function anyway, you know, like it's not in the living room, so it can't keep the whole house warm. I would, I thought maybe it's, you know, just to be fancy in the, in the study area. So I put one down anyway, but not one of those big ones. I just put down this small one, which I think looks really good. And I think it goes kind of well with the Ikea furniture. Also this study area or like study room became a little bit too fancy maybe like it doesn't really match with the cutesy vibe of the house but i i just went into this direction and i never stopped maybe later on i will turn this into a more more of a hobby room maybe because i can't really imagine neither pt nor Jenny coming here, you know, in this super fancy study room and just spend their time here because they more, they seem more like family type of people who like to spend time with each other and, you know, with their kids and with their family. So I imagine them spending most of their times in the living room where they can be together. And that's why I think like the open uh, kitchen, living room floor plan is kind of nice because you know, even for example, someone is in the kitchen preparing food and the others are in the living room, they can still talk, they can still be together. So I think that's like a very cute idea. I really like this family or like how I imagine them in my head anyway. Like they are very, very sweet and very loving family. And now that I think about, I'm not really sure we have any family like this in The Sims. Like now I'm trying to think about all the Pleasant View families. And all the Pleasant View families are pretty dysfunctional, aren't they? Like we don't really have a family where we would say, oh, they are like the perfect epitome of uh, family life. Maybe, I guess the oldies, but not really anyway, because you know, their story involves Mary Sue, who is kind of, uh, <laughs> you know, she has this uh, thing that she wants to overachieve all the time. And I think that's because very strict parenting from the oldies part. But anyway, I think the Smith family is like the cutest and sweetest family in The Sims 2. And they are, you know, just like very loving, very normal despite you know the son and the husband being aliens and yeah there's that now i am making johnny's room and i checked johnny's personality and it said that he is you know very outgoing very active he's really into sports and school and stuff like that and therefore i decided to decorate his room with a lot of school related stuff like you can see the little trophy he has I don't know, some kind of athletic trophy. I can see him uh, being the school team and, and you know, just being the, I guess, the cliche popular kid. I, I see him as, you know, a very popular kid in school because of his personality and he's like a nice guy, very outgoing. In the sports team, uh, I decided to decorate his room with a lot of flags regarding his school team. A lot of school related stuff, sports related stuff. Um, I think he would like this. I can imagine him being like very, very popular. Maybe, maybe even a little jock. I don't know. <laughs> I don't see him bullying other people because I think he's a sweetheart. But you know what I mean. I think he's a popular kid in school. And also, I don't really know what will I do with him because if you play this you know that when you first load up the smith family it's the day of johnny's birthday and if you only have the base game he will grow into adult on the same day but if you have the university expansion you can send him to uni and uh, he becomes a young adult and then moving to uni but i don't really know what i want to do with him like i don't know if i want him to end up with ophelia or i don't know who you guys prefer him with I've seen on Tumblr a lot of posts where they have Ophelia, Johnny and Rip as, as you know, in a, some kind of joint relationship. And I find that idea really cute. Like, they look really cute together, but I don't know. 
I don't know what will I do. Also, maybe I will pair him with someone from the uni city. I don't know, really. I'm always a little bit in trouble with these ships in this town, like in Strange Town, because I haven't played it that much and I don't have my ideas so like worked out as I do in Pleasant View because I played that city thousands of times. I know who I prefer whom with, so I don't really have that in Strange Town yet. Also, Chill's room is. Uh, I was trying to like tailor it to her interests, but I think in The Sims 2, all kids have this, almost the same interests. Like they all love animals, they all love school and stuff like that. But I checked her bio and I think it said that she wants to be an oceanographer or something. Like she wants to work with marine animals. So I decided to put a few decoration in her room related to that like her bed sheets and the little medusa lamp i think that's kind of cute but probably i will redo that when she grows into a teenager and will have a more uh, distinct personality i guess and now moving on to the outside which i spent a lot of time on compared to my other builds where i don't spend any time on the outside but i really wanted to make a nice outdoor area because you know as i said i imagine PT come out and do a little barbecue every weekend and the kids are playing in the pool and you know Jenny is just sunbathing outside ah oh, man that sounds like a nice life I have to say <laughs> so originally I didn't intend to flatten the whole um, backyard but somehow I managed to do it anyway I don't know maybe from muscle memory I just pressed the flatten all um, button i i'm not really sure how that happened but it became flattened anyway and i don't really mind that to be honest because originally i thought that uh, the lot was not flat because of the surroundings in the neighborhood but it turns out that the surroundings in the neighborhood are absolutely flat so it was just made like that and I don't really like that it takes away a lot of space and also i use a mod which you know enables plants to never need tending so i don't need to invite a gardener but sometimes when you have to invite a gardener or you have to make your sims tend the garden they can't access the plants because of the terrain and that's super annoying so i don't really mind having flat lots Actually, it gives me a little more space to be able to do what I wanted to do because here I made this little pool area. I think it looks really nice and this little floater. And I actually think you can download functional floaters. This one is uh, decorative, but I think I saw a mod that was converted from either Sims 3 or 2 and it's a functional floater and Sims can climb onto them and just lounge there. So that sounds really good. I might check it out. And I put down a few orchard trees for Jenny to tend because, um, you know, her bio says that she loves green. And I know that's, that's a pun because he she's married to P.T. who is an alien and therefore he is green. But I do think that she would love nature as well. Like, you know, a little gardening, a little nature. I mean, their garden is basically the only green spot in this town and i always found that weird but it kind of makes sense but just imagine all the water they are using to sprinkle all this grass man but also when i was a kid i used to do this every time like um every time i would start to play a new house or build a new house the first thing that i did was put down the green terrain paint because the original grass in the sims 2 doesn't really look this good so i guess i can kind of understand <laughs> uh i think only the decorating is left just decorating this little porch area and in the backyard so we are approaching the end of the video i really like this um backyard area not gonna lie i would love to live in this house and putting down a little more gardening space for jenny and basically this is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what do you think of my makeover i hope you guys like this one if you did let me know in the comments like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye